boom, day 133. Still down here at the villager, outlasting that storm lightning at least as far as we can before we go up to Mount Washington. First ever, on record, we're gonna try it, gear review while we're on our Appalachian through hike here heading northbound. I figure what a better time, we're taking a couple of zeros here to do a review of what I believe is clutch. So let's see why or why it isn't super clutch or super happiest known time, right? It's the classic 20 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag from Z-Pax. It's made it down here. So I'm gonna dedicate the day to the 20 degree sleeping bag, classic. It's the classic version from Z-Pax. All right, day 133, let's do a review. Day 133. Day 133. June, June 28th. Still raining, right? Still raining. It's Wednesday, right? We got, we're eating some, some veggies there. This, some broccoli. The fridge is completely stocked. Let's talk about this right here. Fridge, we got stuff in there. And also down here. I mean, the fridge is completely stocked. Um, and we have access to get out whenever we want. So here's the deal. I think what actually I might do, I don't know if I feel like it today, but uh, um, I actually might do a gear review video today. I actually think I might whip up uh, a piece of equipment right now. I've got three in mind I might do. This might just be a little cut intro on a gear review. So I apologize for all the people just going, I just want the gear review. But here we are on our Appalachian Trail through hike in 2023. About to head up to uh, Mount Washington again to bring it, people up to speed if they're not uh, if they're new to the channel. We're just waiting out the rain a little bit. There's a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of it. We're down here at the Villager Inn in Bartlett, New Hampshire, and there's a lot of it. Clearly, I mean, just not willing to do it. I know that could be different up in the mountain for better or worse, but that's what we're looking at right now. The rain's coming down. As you can see it pretty quickly. Let's see if we can whip up our gear review. Let's see if I can get to some build quality, weight packability, and function. I don't necessarily have to wait till the end. Uh, some of the equipment I've, I've hiked with the Pacific Crest. So let's talk about some equipment that has, um, that has been with, uh, with me for a pretty long time. See what the rest of the day has in store for rental and unicorn. Lighting here is a little dark here. I don't have the windows up, up, so apologize about that. Day 133. Let's see what the rest of the day has in store. So thank it. you for hanging on. Let's do it. We're having a good, we're eating. We're eating. We're eating a lot. And eating and eating and eating and eating. And eating. Doing and the best. And sleeping. And sleeping. And Take, sleeping. Taking advantage of it again. Left hand your lemons. Make any more. <laughs> Boom. Day one thirty three. But you know what? We're gonna go through one of my favorite pieces of gear right here. It is the sleeping bag. And uh, I'm kind of sideways here, sideways here, trying to get the best lighting through the window. So I'm going to do the sideways here, just for the intro and the outro. We're going to do some in-depth review. If you've followed my gear reviews before, four criteria: build quality, weight, packability, and function. Each one of those holds a, a weighted value of five for a total score of 20. Somewhere around there, I think 15 plus. I do a happiest known time, but uh, you get the happiest known time award if you get 15 plus. Sometimes below in my brain for other reasons I can give a happiest no time award out otherwise just depends upon the circumstances. So let's see how the z Packs 20 degree Fahrenheit classic sleeping bag. Uh, I'll put up here, I've got it since 2019. I'll put up the screenshot from the order bin from z Packs. Uh, we hiked the PCT Pacific Crest in 2021 with it. Multiple sections with it and here we're up here in uh, on day 133 on our Appalachian Trail through hike in 2023 going northbound exclusively with this sleeping bag. So let's get right to it. Let's look at build quality, weight, packability, and function. Let's get right to the first uh, value, which is build quality. To the first characteristic what I'm looking for is build quality. Typically in that, in that order, build quality, 
weight, packability, and function when I look at gear. Let's look at build quality. For build quality, I'm going to start off with the zipper. Let's see how the zipper has held up. Just as I go right down the line here. I'm going to give you a really in-depth view of the zipper. Unicorn's back there eating. And I'm like, hey, I got this review by myself. We do this. We can do this. Boom. Zipper. Looking at the zipper, I checked out any flaws over the last, since 2019. Again, we hiked the PCT with it. Now we're doing the AT with it. Couldn't find any in terms of the zipper for build quality. Continuing on build quality here, I looked in and out of the sleeping bag on the outside and the inside to see if there's any compromise where the down's coming at. And the only spot I found, again, cowboy camping, we got this all vlogged on video as well. We cowboy camped a lot on the PCT. The only spot I found that was compromised or anywhere close to being compromised isn't compromised. It's actually the beginning stitch where they started the stitch. You see that little? I can just snip that off. So I just went and did 20 minutes of looking to see if there was any cuts or I didn't have to tape it. We're pretty rough. Again, we cowboy camped a lot on the PCT at least I think 20 times. Um, again, and we put this through heck here on the AT so far. So that's the only compromise I can find, which isn't compromised at all. That's where the, 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 the sewing person had to start the project, which was at that point, at that pivotal point. I looked everywhere. I, I don't find any holes or anything anywhere. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say build quality right now, f 5 out of 5 for build quality. But wait, I'm going to do weight without the bag, the stuff sack. Let's see if we can do it. Lifting it up off the ground. It looks like it says 17.6. 17.6, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's off the ground. 17.6. Whoop, it topped out at 17.8. 17.8. Boom, so you saw that weight there. I think factory said 16.6. Again, let's talk about the two through hikes. Let's talk about me running it through Nick's wax, I think three or four times, which is to wash it. And also the dampness of the down on this through, even right now, is probably damp. Uh, but in terms of it coming right from the factory, so 17.6. I think that's pretty good. I'm still going to give that a 5 out of 5 considering what it's doing, the pack that it's punching at 20 degrees. We'll talk about um, the function last, of course, but we're going to get into um, the packability next, right? We had build quality, weight, that's 5 out of 5 on both. We're pretty good there. Let's see how well it packs. Boom. Let's talk about packability. See Unicorn back there just chilling out, eating that ice cream, pounding them calories down before we go up Mount Washington in a few days. But let's talk about packability. This is, it packs pretty small. I mean, this is a medium dry sack from Z-Packs right here. And I just stuffed it in there. I mean, you can, let me look at that. That's not bad, right? Here's my hand. You can kind of squish that down pretty tight. If you don't want to use a sack, I guess you can just let it all around your bag as well, because down pretty packs pretty well. So it's down, packability. Five out of five. Yep. All right, so let's talk function. This is my favorite part. Build quality still good there. Let's talk function. This is a short. It's a short slim. So just let me tell you what a short slim does for me. Is I can't quite get my head in it. I know that might be a problem for some, but for me, I don't like my head in it because it produces condensation anyway. So in really cold nights on the Pacific Crest, uh, there's just kind of like this, you know. kind of can get in like that in terms of function but it took us down to like 15 degrees on the Pacific Crest on August 4th and there's been some sketchy nights on the PCT clearly again it's down you don't want to get it wet we'll talk about that but that's the make of the the build quality weight packability and function of down 
we're actually reviewing down here, but that's pretty much it. And also, what's really good is, you know, when you're out and you're hot, you can kind of just leave one flap open and stick your leg over. And Unicorn, what Unicorn likes to do when she's in the tent is she likes to kind of, like when she's really cold, and we're cold, and we're so, she likes to kind of use it as a blankie. I know she wraps it around a little bit differently, but this is how I wrap it around. I put my leg in there and I wrap it here and I put it underneath and we can kind of sit there and, you know, do our chores in the tent. But the function of this 20 degree Fahrenheit, 20 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag, it is after two through hikes, we're not finished with this, we're close to finishing this one. It is produced. It has produced safety. It has produced warmth. I just wouldn't leave home without my 20 degree. I don't know how the 30 degree is or a little higher up. I just feel the 20 degree. If it's a little bit too hot, just stick your leg out or just cover half of your body or don't use it because uh, with our loadout, we use the Thermores as well, women's edition. But let's wrap it up. Let's talk about the overall build quality, weight packability, function, the rating, and what we think about the Z-Pax Classic 20 degree sleeping bag. Boom. So in short, let's talk about Build quality, 5 out of 5. Weight, with my fish scale, my portable scale that I brought with me. You know, you got to think about that with a grain of salt. It's a portable scale, so I don't know if it's down to the gram. Build quality, 5 out of 5. Weight, 5 out of 5. Packability, 5 out of 5. Function, 5 out of 5. Unicorn, what is that? When it's all 5 out of 5 and we've got 20s, what is that considered? I think that's happiest on time. It's happiest no time. We'll blip that on the screen. I know I've been doing a lot of Z-Packs reviews lately. We have some other reviews coming up, but you know what? I waited for this. I waited a long time for this. We had this since, I think, 2019. We put that up on the screen. It's been with us a long time. It did PCT, cowboy camping, all of our sections, everything in between, Florida Trail, all the other trails and camping that I've done. I, I just use this. No compromise anywhere. The sewing, just nothing. The, the zipper, it's, I tell you what, one of my favorite pieces of gear here. I don't necessarily talk about I talk about the football a lot. I talk about some other things a lot. But at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, you jump in the 20 degree Fahrenheit classic sleeping bag from Z-Packs. Happiest known time, 20 out of 20. Thank you, Z-Packs, for making a great product. Shout out to Jamie, field trip. You know it. Peace. Yes. Let's, there not, let's not talk about bog boy. Let's not talk about bog. Uh, oh, I don't have my hat on. It's day 133. Believe it or not, oh, it's, right. it's the Browning logo. Right. I don't know, 133, yeah. it's in there. You know, we just did the gear review. We thought it was just going to be a gear review day. I'm going to go Michael Muir style right here. Okay, so day two. Day two. Day two. Day two, Hawk Mountain Shelter. Go back and look at the video on day two. I might be on there. Met yeah. this guy. Yes. Rental and Unicorn. Yes, Rental Unicorn. Hashtag Veterans Day every day. He served. Right. All right, well, yeah. uh, you, were, you were Army, right? Yep. That's right. right, and the guy was the Marines behind us, so I remember now, and you were writing your little your little blog, and you're doing good, you're doing healthy. I looked at you and said, bro, your army, you're buff, you lost some weight. He goes, you lost some weight too, and I was like, yeah, I, I'm the top, right? You can see my neckline here, you can see like my veins pop out, so I have to talk to you like this. And who do I, what's your trail name now, brother? Near Miss is my trail name. Near Miss. Day yeah. two, this is how we roll, this is why a through hiker arrives precisely when they mean to. Yep. Okay, who do we have back here? Hardy Soul. Har Hardy, H-A-R-D-Y, Soul. Hardy, Soul. I like that because when I put that up, near miss, Hardy, Soul. He's a veteran, too. He's a veteran? Yeah. Okay, let me take a guess. I hold on here. He's got the vibe. He's, you know what? Just give me just give me a fist bump, and I'm just going to guess. One out of four. That's a fist bump of, I'm going to say Air Force. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. That hurt. I guess that's a, that's a near miss. He's Marine, then. That's a near He's miss. five. <laughs> I'm or, off. Or, World's Navy. finest Navy. Yeah. Blue and gold Navy. Navy. Hey, the last time I guess Navy was on, he was a 30 year Navy guy, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you did, you did guess I'm off. Just recently, you see him? Uh, 30 years. Who's been here uh, for Dingo. 30 Dingo. Oh, no. I guess Dingo Navy. But, uh, you know, I always I guess pretty good, but I'm off there. So, thank you for your service. Again, hashtag Veterans Day every day. We always give thank respect you for to that. To serve. Uh, we also have to thank um, Tim uh, on the outro, but he also he donated some cash. He, he was, I think he went to the Marine Corps. We have to read that on the outro. Oh, he so says, much. continue to do what you do. Be, you know, he loves the veteran shout out. So we're giving shout out to veterans. We wouldn't be here pooping in the woods doing silly stuff if it wasn't for the people protecting this nation. <laughs> that's, that's the case. But I have a trick question. Uh, we didn't brief you on this. So you've gone this far, and I know some of you guys have watched the vlog, so 
I'm going to switch up the questions a little bit. Do you miss home? No. 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 Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. He's gonna all. he's gonna yo-yo then, and he's just gonna turn around and walk back down. Then. No, but I am considering doing a sobo with the CDT. Okay. There's so he's he, he's still embracing the wilderness, being outdoors, uh, you it. know, loving it, loving. I love it. Okay, uh, over here. Um, of course, I miss home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married with I'm married with five dollars, but I was able to go home because my oldest daughter got married. So I've had a, I had a couple weeks off trail. Which, Congratulations. Yes. Very beautiful. Very, thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. So we got some beautiful vets here. You got a guy here jokingly. He doesn't miss. He, how about he doesn't miss him? How about he loves the wilderness? He loves the he wilderness. He loves the wilderness. He's just right? loving his time. He does here. love the time. It's like waking up in a different place every day, meeting new people. I love that too. It, it, I love it too. I love that too. Yeah. Unicorn, do you miss home? A little bit. This yeah. is home. Carolyn is I mean, my mom is, now. Home. She's younger than she's, me, she's but she's my mom. Home, home I call life. her mom. You told me yesterday, the trail's your home. <laughs> I call. Your home. Carolyn, you're my mom. I don't care if you're younger. You're my mom, Carolyn. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. On the count of three, we're going to happiest don't time it. We have owners up there, but we're going to happiest don't time it like this. One, two, three. Happiest known time. Boom. Day 133. We can make a habit of this. I have it at take twos. All right, so Miles. Today it's a it's another big zero. A big zero? An another big zero. I think I think we're losing track. I think it's four. This was the fourth zero. Yeah, we're kind of vortexing. Like the what vortex did, is real. What um, did uh, David call it? He called it a quad zero. Yeah, he called it a quad zero. I think this is a quad zero. Yeah. Rod. Micro is popping off. We're oh, eating. We're, we're, we're eating. still eating. The little plastic dishes that come with these little meals, um, they're also good if you clean them and wash them. You can put cereal and put milk in there. So we're learning that a little bit. The little place for my electronics, getting really comfortable here. Really, Requiring really a little bit of dishes. It's like we have plates and bowls. And a lot of ice cream we've eaten, right? We've now put down three half gallons of ice cream. We still have one more to go in the freezer. And um, it's been really fun here, spending time with the fam and stuff and get to know new ownership everything here it's it's been cool and the vortex is real dodging all the lightning and the rain we wanted to have a good time at the top of the mountains but I'll put a pickup right here um, sometimes you win the gamble sometimes you know you lose it you just do what you do you live happy it's no time but I'll put a pick right here it looks like there might be a day where we can get up there and catch some sun sunshine and, and maybe I don't know happy it's no time I think we might be able to get a happy it's no time sliver moment um, with all these thunderstorms that are just forever on the forecast, we have a day. So we're gonna we're gonna try to make that happen. I was just gonna get up to get the pot pie out of the microwave, but I wanted to just double check here. Thomas Samard, thank you so very much. Uh, you wrote us a really kind note through PayPal uh, to enjoy the rest of our uh, time in New Hampshire and Maine, and um, you know how you love the vids. Really appreciate it. You're you're gonna try your calendar year through hike in twenty five twenty six, and hopefully we can keep in touch. Um, Would love to see you just it. remind I I like to follow other people's journey as well. Um, thanked us for honoring the veterans. Graduated from USMA. That is impressive. So that that within itself is is awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and you, so you served in the army as well. So thank you. Hashtag Veterans Day every day. I'm gonna go open the mic. But thank you for your massive donation. Um, thank you certainly so going to put it to good use. As you can see, we're eating. And uh, it's just an honor for me to be communicating and associating uh, the channel with uh, people that have served um, in all walks of life. I mean, even overseas as well, right? We honor yeah. some of the veterans. Uh, certainly uh, with the allies that we have over in Europe, all the veterans over there that have served. We certainly hiked with a few this year, so. But truly, this is um, a proud, proud United States channel, <laughs> you can tell. Yes, we love it. Uh, very proud to be an American, uh, very humble to be an American, and uh, one of the ways I feel I can and give back, once again, back to Bobby. There was a comment down here by Todd. Um, left a comment and said thank you very much. He's still watching. He's he you know he's a fireman as well, retired. 
but uh, I don't forget the people that we met way back. So I try to remember everyone along the way. It's getting a little bit difficult, but um, there's certainly certain people that stick out. I, I'll sure. always remember that uh, that chicken and rice soup. Yeah, I think chicken soup. Mm -hmm. It was so cold that morning. Yeah. It hit, it hit right. So Bobby's Trail Magic was special. It was um, very special. It, it just, it was more special than what I thought it was when I said it was the first Trail Magic. Um, man, that was a good Trail Magic. That was. It so, really was. So uh, Thomas, thank you very much for the donation. Once again, um, just an honor to be associated with uh, with that community, per se, you know, yeah. without, uh, without serving myself, just kind of trying to give back and give attention to what we need to give attention to in this country, in my humble opinion. Um, Okay, so, day two, people. Day two, near miss. Unbelievable, Hawk Mountain Shelter, windy, 1 p.m. He's shacking up. I look back, I'm like, man, that brother shacking up too early. It's like 1 p.m. and it's windy, you know? I just thought that maybe he could have got out and kept hiking, you know? But here he is. He's right here. He's right here. Got to see him again. So so good to reconnect. It, day we, two. I mean, we've been through some stuff. He's been through some stuff. <laughs> Everyone's been through some stuff. He's a big dude. Yeah, you know, wouldn't mess with dude, you know? He's like, no. yeah, ex-military. And, and I look and I say, like, hey, man, you lost weight. Great guy, great smile, great yeah. laugh, great personality, very yeah. funny. Yeah, it's just, I love it, man. He's like, you lost weight too. Yeah, like, yeah I did. Um, and here we are. And we're all here. And we're healthy. Doing good, yeah, he's doing good. And we're happy. Um, yeah, he doesn't necessarily miss home, you know. <laughs> he just wants to keep going. He's gonna, he's gonna just jump right over the CDD the, and just head down. That's the, cha the channel that's knows that I'm amazing. I don't normally that ask, like, I don't normally I ask like, totally serious questions, but for some reason I just felt compelled to look at these two guys and be like, no, I'm missing home. Um, that was, okay. a deep, that was a deep question. It was a deep question. I don't know how I got so deep that I was like in the office. And you thought about it too. I did. You saw it. It was because... On the flight question I'm, sometimes. I'm forever changed from the bog, I think. I think that really did forever change More me. More sentimental now, maybe? A little bit. After the quad zero? Yes, a little bit. Um, day 134 is on the horizon. We forgot. We can't go over it out yet. You know... It's about this, you know, sometimes it just makes me feel like that big lion. Um, this is going to be an on the trail gear review. And the gear people that watch it for the gear review are going to have to deal with it. Because we're on the trail. And this is my review of the 20 degree Fahrenheit classic sleeping bag from z -Packs. And I give it a 20 out of 20. And I'd like to give a shout out to Monica and Jamie, a.k.a. Field Trip, from Z-Pax. Because they have helped us. So much. So much. So much. Through the years. And maybe we'll do the CDT one day. Maybe we'll see Jamie. He's in Triple Crown. Anyway, everybody. I love my Z-Pax stuff. We have to start doing reviews of some other stuff out there that we have. But thank you very much for um, accepting a little bit of a different uh, ch uh, show today. Because I just wanted to get that review up out of the way. Looks like we're headed out tomorrow. We're going to be hitting the trail tomorrow morning. It's happening. Out of we're the gonna, vortex. We're going to climb out of this vortex and up Webster Cliff. Yes. <laughs> That is exactly what we're going to do. And then on to Mount Washington. And then we'll have to see what we're going to do after that. I'm going to bring my food over. It no, looks no, like... No, the vortex is strong here. It's, it's going to be hard to leave. It's going to be very hard to leave. Yeah, That's it is. for sure. We're having a good time. It's That's going to be one sure. of those places where after the through hike, we're going to look back and we're certainly going to remember the good times and... Uh, Great it, conversations. Yeah. Really good people. Yeah. Um, it feels like home here. It, it definitely feels like home for us. We, we're calling it home now. If you recall, which you probably don't, I, when we left Hiker Town on the Pacific Crest Trail, I did a, an episode I think called Drifting Away where I felt that 
a through hiker just kind of drifts away. They never really get to maintain relationships or get to people, know the people around them. And they kind of drift away. And there was this little fuzzy ball that went around through the road. And I, I lifted it up and I threw it. And it was kind of prickly. I remember that. Right? Remember I that? Remember that. And I felt, like, I felt like there was so many good people around Hiker Town. I felt like it was drifting like away. Hiker Town, yeah. It was kind of emotional. And it was almost like that's how I feel here. But I, I actually got to stop here. We stopped. We vortexed. We got to know some folks right down to going down to the local bar. You know, at Maddie B's and seeing what the, where the locals eat, looking at the ski shop, looking at the employees. I visited the grocery store three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was like a hometown when it came around us, talking about the trail. Three I times. met all the snowmakers. Yeah. They're working at the ski lodge. They're telling me how they make snow. Yeah. And uh, teaching me a little bit about that and, you know, how it is here in the winter. It just felt like a small, good hometown. I in the really love it here. In the north. The yeah, it felt it felt like a hometown. It's, this is our a stuff. Piece of our heart is here for yeah, sure. This is kind of our stuff here. This is this is kind of like. And Rosie doing the fire department. Yeah. First responding, That's rescuing right. people off the mountains. It's yeah. we're gonna put on for Bartlett. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah. so listen. Bartlett love. No doubt. Nothing but love for Bartlett. New Hampshire, yeah. love it. Moose power, moose power. Tomorrow. The trail, we're back we're on. Get back out there. We're back on. We're back on. We're excited. It's going to be happiest no time. See you tomorrow. Peace. This is heavy wind and close the wood area. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source radar indicated. Impact. Flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses, as well as other drainage and low lying areas. Some locations that will experience flooding include Conway, Walter Burrow, Mary. What do you think? I think it's a great time to be underneath this beautiful river. Wow. I was going to do my gear review video right out there. Not now.